There are two large smartphone manufacturers in Korea, Samsung and LG. Samsung is loved by many people for its Galaxy series. LG is not the same as Samsung, but it still makes smartphones with its own identity. Samsung recently launched the Galaxy S20 series and is preoccupying the market for flagship smartphones. LG isn't standing still and has a G9 ThinQ release date. Display size will be available from 6.7 inches to 6.9 inches. I think the size is quite large compared to the previously released G series. Perhaps because it does not release the domestic V60. It is expected to increase the display size. Since there is no separate fingerprint recognition button on the back, it seems that a fingerprint sensor is installed in the display, which is the trend of the times. However, LG is a little slower in fingerprint recognition than Samsung. At the top of the G9 ThinQ, the notch design that was adhered to was applied. Is it because I love Apple so much? The small notch design in the middle does not seem to change. Still, it is unique small compared to the iPhone. So it seems to be forgiven. It's a personal idea, but I think it's okay because it covers the front screen a bit less than the whole design as it is released later than the Galaxy S20 series. The bezel surrounding the display is much thinner than the previous model. Perhaps the current trend is to implement zero bezels. If the bezels becomes very thin like this, even the display size increases. The size of the main body does not change much. So, it is easier for user to hold and use it in the one hand. Unfortunately, the display resolution has a 19 by 5.9 ratio and 2340 by 1080 resolution. The resolution is a bit lower, but it still has a little more benefit when considering the battery running time. And this time, it seems to show better color by using AMOLED panel, not LCD panel. In the case of the LG G9 ThinQ, there is a glimpse of containing the specialization of sound equipment. It is a 3.5-pin earphone terminal that is still present at bottom. Again, there is a story with the quad deck. For the standpoint of using the V50, the performance of the quad deck was definitely good enough to appeal to music lovers. It seems that they maintain their own identity by leaving a 3.5mm pin terminal without following Samsung and Apple. Among the LG G9 ThinQ specifications, the camera located on the back looks slightly different from the previous one. I thought that a camera that did not stick out was a privilege only for the existing G series. I think that the camera specifications will inevitably pop out. It is said that the main camera is expected to carry 48 million pixels and three other cameras are added, resulting in the total of four. It is said that the Snapdragon 765G will be installed immediately. The opposing faction is equipped with an AP that is too shabby compared to the Snapdragon 865. So the performance gap is going to widen. There is a rumor that the battery is equipped with a 4000mAh. It is equipped with a low resolution and 4000mAh. So if the optimization is successful, it will feel like it can be used all day long. Of course, having a low CPU specification is also significant benefit for battery running time. The release date of LG G9 ThinQ is expected at the end of March. When considering the specifications, the shipping price is expected to be around 729 US dollars. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care yourself very well. Peace out.